hey guys welcome back to my channel I wanted to do my project pan for you guys I wanted to do it a different way but honestly just with time and everything this is how we're gonna do it so I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's talk about my project pan for 2019 Okay, so I have everything laid out for you guys so you guys can see it clearly. We're going to kind of go in order as to how I put things on my face. And then um, that'll kind of be it. You like my cloth backdrop? <laughs> so this is my all over face primer. I really like putting a primer all over my face. I feel like it helps with the longevity of makeup. So this is the Pixi by Petra Flawless and poreless primer. I don't find that it really helps out with pores, but I do really like it and I find that it just gives my skin a good base. This, as you can probably tell, is a very well-loved and well-used primer. This is the Clean Slate Poreless 12-Hour Perfecting Primer. I absolutely love it. It really does a good job to fill in my pores without clogging my skin, and I just really like it. Next is the Pixi H2O Skin Tint in number one cream. As you can tell, I use this religiously. I absolutely love it. It is a very light coverage, but that's what I go for on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm okay with that. And um, while Pixi does not have the best shade range, they do have really great products. So if you're able to find some, I highly suggest checking them out. Next is the CoverGirl Clean Matte Concealer. I am in the shade Fair. I absolutely love this concealer. It's very, very, very affordable. Um, it has really good coverage, but it's not heavy or cakey or drying, and it gives me a little bit of mattification, whereas this is a very dewy product. This is a matte product, so I feel like this mattifies like my eyelids and my under eyes and around my nose and my chin really, really well so that the makeup doesn't slip off. But then the rest of my skin looks really healthy and natural. This is the powder that I'm going to be trying to go through. It's the Wet n Wild Pressed Powder, the Photo Focus one. And I really, really love these powders. Um, they just do a really good job of giving your skin a natural satin finish. This is not a mattifying powder by any means, but it does a really great job of just giving the skin a really natural look while still keeping it on your face. Next, this is the NYX Contour Kit. This, as you can see, I've already hit pan on that one and that one, so this one's very promising. Um, I generally mix these two to set underneath my eyes. These two are the ones that I mix for my highlighter. This I use as eyeshadow or um, as like a dark brown kind of smoky eyeliner. These are the two that I mix for my bronzer and this one is the one that I use for my contour. So hopefully I'll be able to get through those this year. For my blush, I chose this one because it has a deeper shade for the winter. I generally use deeper blushes in the winter time because it makes you look rosier and in Canada everyone is very rosy already so it's okay if you look very rosy um, and then I like to use this one kind of on a natural day-to-day -day basis um, it is my perfect shade it just gives me a light flush of color um, and I really like it and then this one is shimmery so I figured it would be great especially mixing these two in the summertime because this just gives you a very healthy glow and um, it's very very pale but Again, it has that shimmer in it, so I just love mixing those two. Next is my eyeshadow palette. This is the Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette from Too Faced. As you can tell, this palette has already been very well loved, but I am hoping to give it a lot more love this year. I um, love the pigmentation in the shadows. I love how compact this is uh, because I... Don't know if I'm going to be traveling a lot this year, but I definitely brought it with me on a lot of my trips last year, and it's just so compact, and it has, because it has all the neutral shades that you need, um, it's very wearable, but at the same time, it does have this pop of purple and this deep plum, and that really helps kind of let you spice things up if you really want to. 
For my eyebrows, I am using the Retractable Brow Pencil from Wet n Wild in Medium Brown and setting it with the e.l.f. Clear Eyebrow Gel. And for my everyday eyeliner, I'm using the Silky Nude Eyeliner from Essence. I love this. It's so creamy, but it really stays in the waterline. For setting my makeup, I like to use the Makeup Fixing Mist from Pixi. This has rose water and green tea in it. I absolutely love it. It just does a really good job, and the mister on this is beautiful. As far as mascara goes, I'm working on this one right now. This is the Peacock Flare from CoverGirl. Um, so far, I actually don't really like this one, unfortunately. It's a little bit clumpy for me, so I am looking for an alternative. I am trying to use a lot more CoverGirl products this year, though, because I haven't been able to for two or three years since I went cruelty-free. So it's very exciting to be able to use them again. And they're at a really great price point, and I can find them at Walmart, so I really like it. And then I have some lip options for myself. This is the BFF Lipstick from Essence. It's very inexpensive and it's very sheer and lovely. It just gives you a light wash of color just to kind of tinge your cheeks. And if you want to, you can also put this on your cheeks as a cream blush and it's beautiful. This is my perfect nude. It is Sienna Matte Rose from The Body Shop. I absolutely love it. It's so creamy and so pigmented and I just, it's amazing. This is for like a nice little bold pop of color that's not this deep. <laughs> this is Rosy Garden from Flower Beauty. I absolutely love it. It has such an amazing formula and I actually like the scent of these lipsticks. <laughs> this is the Give Me Glow Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in Miss September. This is very matte. The formula on it is absolutely gorgeous though. Highly, highly recommend if you can get your hands on these. They are just absolutely stunning. Highly recommend. Um, and I love this shade. It's a very kind of raspberry, deep raspberry shade. This is the Kiss Me um, Liquid Lipstick in Madrid. It's nice. It's got a little bit, it's very neutral. It's got a little bit of coolness in it, but it also has a little bit of warmth and it's very brown based, which I like. Um, so I'm able to just kind of pop this on with minimal eye makeup and it just looks very effortless. And then this is very cool toned. This is from the Rose Gold Collection from e.l.f. It's a matte li lipstick in the shade Praline. So that is my Project Pan for 2019. And just really quick, if you guys don't know what Project Pan is, basically I have two separate makeup collections as it were. I have one that is for YouTube. It has bright colors, it has tons and tons of stuff in it. I have so much stuff that I want to review for you guys this year. So many foundations. I want to start doing foundation first impressions and foundation reviews and stuff like that. Um, it has all of my primers, my other lipsticks. Like It's a huge collection, but in my day-to-day -day life, I was just getting very overwhelmed trying to pick what I was going to use every single day. So with this, this stays in my bedroom and I have a wardrobe that has a mirror on it. So in my day-to-day -day life, I'm just going to be putting this stuff on. I have my own little set of brushes right here. These are the brushes that I'm gonna be using. I, it's brushes and a Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Um, so I have my set of brushes, I have my sponge, I have all of this makeup, and this is what I'm going to be using in my personal day-to-day -day life. Um, I live in a very small town, so even if I do a super dramatic makeup look for my channel, I generally tend to just take pictures of it and then wash it off, and if I'm going to go out in town again, I'll just put, like, natural makeup on. Um, but, um, let's see how far I get with this stuff. I'm hoping that by the end of the year, most of these products will be either swapped out for something else because I've used the previous one, or um, I'll have some good sized dents in all of these. Thanks so, so much for watching. If you like these types of videos, you like, you know, minimalist makeup or capsule makeup or anything like that, then make sure to hit a thumbs up button. It really, really helps my channel out. Make sure to share this video with your friends who also may be looking for great everyday essentials and click the subscribe button down below. Again, it really, really helps me out. I'm really trying to grow my channel this year to reach more people like you and it would just 
send me send me over the moon if you would subscribe um i hope that you guys have a wonderful day let's set 2019 up to be absolutely great and i will see you in my next video bye